Hey, Jason from uh, Bohemia Bees. It is the 19th of December here on the eastern shore of Maryland. It's a little bit uh, late afternoon and our temperatures have dipped down below freezing. So all the water that you see in and around our apiary is frozen and uh, our chickens are all nestled up but I get a lot of questions as to what bees do during the winter time. We had a lot of videos that we've posted about how we prep our bees for winter, but what actually happens with the bees in the winter time? Do they go to sleep? Do they hibernate? What do they do? Well, bees are the only insect that remain inside their hive, or at least that I'm aware of, the only insect that survive the winter, typically in a hive or hive body, which you see here. And we as beekeepers, we definitely take precautions to try to help aid them in their overwintering, whether it be putting on quilt boxes, sugar shims, different color boxes. But the question always arises, what do the bees actually do? If you look at a traditional beehive, as you see right here, the bees actually cluster up in a ball in the middle of that colony. So in this colony, there are 10 frames. And those 10 frames towards the latter part of the summer have been being filled up with nectar, pollen, honey, primarily honey stores for the bees to survive the winter. These colonies that you see on this bench all typically weigh anywhere from 50 to 100 pounds of honey in each one of these boxes. And that's the recommended amount of honey that a colony needs going through the winter. We take some additional uh, precautions, which you'll see here in a minute, to help them along. But the bees themselves, when the temperature drops below 57 degrees or 55 degrees, uh, when it gets down to really the, the 50 degree mark, the bees will go into a state of not really hibernation because they don't sleep, but they will cluster up in a ball around their queen in these boxes on the combs. And imagine, if you will, there's a basketball inside these boxes. And inside these boxes, that basketball is clustered around the queen in the center. And the temperature inside that basketball is about 93 degrees. So 93 degrees is what typically they'll maintain the center of that cluster. And as it progresses out the different layers of bees, it gets cooler and cooler to where the ambient temperature inside the hive, which could be anywhere from 60 to 70 degrees, sometimes a little warmer, but mainly around that, that frame, which is about the normal temperature inside these colonies. What ends up happening is the bees will move in and throughout that cluster and around the actual frames of, of honeycomb throughout the winter. They will actually feed on the honey and the queen will actually start to lay again after the winter solstice, but she has been winding down her laying all the way up um, through the fall, making sure that she had enough you know, winter bees to take care of the rest of the colony and to make that cluster. But then she's also um, now laying a very small amount, maybe one to 20 to 30 uh, eggs a day, if not any at all. And then as soon as we hit this winter solstice, which is around late December here, another week or so, she'll begin to increase that laying, you know, a little bit at a time, just so that the bees that are dying off will be replaced and that cluster doesn't shrink down too small where they cannot keep themselves warm at that 93 degree temperature. That's critical. Let's take a peek inside one of these colonies and actually see what's going on inside the colony. So this is a nucleus colony. So in this colony, we've put a shim on it. We've put a, a little bit of a, a layer for them of sugar. And if you take a quick peek inside this colony, you can see what's happening. The bees have clustered up in that ball. There's your ball. You can see there's actually sugar in here that they're eating on the sugar. So we get in really close. You can see they're actually feeding on the sugar. And 
The wonderful thing about a dry sugar shim that I like is that if there's any moisture in these colonies, the bees will naturally make moisture because the heat rises. So when heat rises inside these colonies, they hit hits the roof of the, the colony and then drips down in typically the frames or on the frames where the bees are at. And if it's freezing like it is today and the ambient temperature gets really cold because if there's not good airflow or there's too much moisture, it could drip down and kill and free the bees, freeze the bees. So that sugar shim that we use, they feed on and will actually keep them warm in that process. Let's take a look at another one. This one has a layer that we put on. It's a, it's a insulation layer that help keeps the heat in. Take a quick peek inside here. Because they're, they're nestled down inside there. So you can see them down in there. They've eaten the bees and now they've gone back down inside the colony. And the sugar has absorbed any of the dripping down moisture that's come from the top of the hive. Now, a lot of beekeepers close their hives up. Naturally, you put the restrictive restrictive uh, guards on the front, reducers. That keeps the mice out during the winter from nesting inside your colony. You can see we have them here. And then the top box that we have in this example is a, it's called a quilt box. And that quilt box is so that any moisture that goes above the sugar shim can be caught inside here and absorbed up through here. And that's just another technique that we've tried on various colonies to help them winter. Airflow is critical when you uh, close your hives up for the winter to make sure there's good airflow. We leave our screen bottom boards open on the bottom and we allow that airflow to kind of flow through. It's not the cold that'll kill a bee, it's the moisture. So that's what bees do during the winter and then as we get closer to spring they will start to have more and more bees based on the eggs and brood that are laid and those bees will then start to build out and once it gets to that 55 or more or greater temperature they will come out and do cleansing flights they will look for any water or pollen sources that are available nectar sources and as you know in the spring in the march time frame end of march beginning of april you know there's lots of abundance of flowers that are popping coming through the winter hopefully we'll have a short winter here on the eastern shore of maryland but that's what the bees do during the winter so if anybody was always wondering what what do your bees do during the winter well this is what they do they cluster up in a ball they keep themselves warm they nest on and eat on their honey stores for the winter and they survive until spring when they come out and continue their beekeeping activities gathering pollen and nectar and growing their nest so that they can uh, continue to uh, grow their colony and produce wonderful goods like honey and pollen and wax for us here in our beekeeping apiary so hope everyone enjoyed the video i haven't posted it in a week or two so i figured i put together something that was related to winter i hope you enjoyed the video hope it was informative if you have any questions or you have any uh, comments below, please make sure you uh, uh, subscribe to the channel as well as share with your friends and follow us as we do some amazing things and learn about the bees every day here at the Bohemia Apiary, where beekeeping for us is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.